So if the quantum workstation freezes while you on bypass with the arterial pump moving, what you need to do first of all, to do a hard reset on the software for the quantum workstation. So what you should not do is press the reset on off button here without first of all disconnecting the power cord from the quantum heart lung machine which plugs into the workstation so we disconnect that so then we've isolated that from the rest of the system so we are still able to control the pump system so now we can do a hard reset so press and hold And as you can see, we've still got continuous flow and support of the patient while the quantum workstation reboots. So I'm restarting the system now. Yeah, cool. See, so now the system's reboot. Up, yeah. reboot, and as you can see. The pump manager is not displayed there yet because we're not in connection with the with the heart lung machine. So if we're happy now, we replug. Pump manager. We're back online. So here's the situation. We've lost connectivity with the workstation. Okay? And we have a problem, The what's going to happen now, the pump's running at the moment, arterial pump, and then we have a bubble detector alarm, arterial bubble detector alarm. Obviously the first port of action is to make sure we've removed the air from the circuit, if there's any air in the circuit, or it may just be a um, temporary problem with the sensor. So we now have an issue where we can't override or cancel the bubble because we've got no interaction with the workstation so if you can see the control panel for the pumps the arterial pump is flashing there with the alert bubble alarm so the way we can reset it is to depress the arterial pump control and one of these other four control knobs simultaneously now reset and let's restart and we're off again we've lost connectivity with this look and the surgeon wants to go back and bypass we can't open the venous clamp so we can't open the venous clamp we can't because control it from the workstation from the rock station so how are we going to do this well one way to do it is manually Okay. So basically, you just push, down. push yeah. it down, open just, it, yeah. and then release yeah, it. Just do and that. Then, and yeah. then go, go on. Obviously, you're going to make sure you've got a clamp here first, aren't you? Yeah. So, when the level sensor fails and your QWS fails, yeah. and, and when the pump stops, so how are you going to override it? So, pressing these two buttons, it's not going to work like bubble sensor. So the only way it will override is pull it out from the bottom, from the control panel, and then now you're back on. So that's the safest way to override the level sensor when the panel fails. If you have a, a proper system failure with your alarms, uh, no communication, and you've got a serious problem, you can run the arterial pump as a free pump by going into circuit manual, manual and enter yes on the press. That's an eight inch pump. There's one eight inch pump, two six inches and a four inch and two fours for the cardioplegia. In the eight inch pump, we have got half inch pump boot. The only other pumps which will accept a half inch is the six inch pumps, not the four inch, six inch.
So if we have a problem with the arterial pump failure, the plan we do here is to swap out the six inch with the eight inch. We remove the eight inch from here and put the six inch into the eight inch uh, section. Okay, Not a minute more. let me show you what we're doing there. So the way we do this, the pumps are fixed at the moment. We need to unfix the pump. So we take out this torque wrench. And under this section here, we go anti-clockwise. Yeah, yeah just keep turning. You can see that will allow us to lift off the pump. Yeah. What we need to do first of all is disconnect. And we disconnect from the base of the pump. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Remove. Obviously, it depends whether you want to leave your pump boot in or, or like so. Yeah. And the same goes with this section here. This one's at an angle. And again, into the bottom there. Anti clockwise. So we can turn it no longer. Remove from the bottom. Obviously this will be at an angle. We don't need to worry about retightening, mm. it's fine. It's, it's, it's held as secure just on the lip, like so. Reconnecting to the base. Set your inclusion. Reset your inclusion and we should be able to start again. Yeah? Okay. When your pump control fails while you're on bypass and you're still on bypass, and how do you come off? The surgeon says come off. So you just look at the arterial and then you can just keep coming down. and then pump stop and then surgeon says go back on again still we don't have any pump controls so we just have to use the same way pumps running we are back on bypass so if it's not pre-programmed yeah and your qws fails and if you want to give cardioplegia and then you just go on to the cardioplegia, just click, just, that's it, and you. then you can just set how much volume you want it, and then click, and then it just set your ratio 4 to 1. So now you can just run. Right? It, it, it's, very, it's, just the same, it's just the same situation as what you do to select your menu on the pump manager. On the pump manager, yeah. 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 